What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Getting ready to check out of my hotel room as I'm headed to InShane Designs for the second day in a row, I have custom wrap going on the Durango. So I'm here in my hotel room, got my little editing station right there. So I'm walking out of the hotel room to be reminded of my loss, and it doesn't look that bad, but it is a reminder of my loss to Shane at InShane Designs. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I kind of like the look of it, but I don't know. It's time to head over to see Shane and get this custom wrap put on the Durango. Now you know there's no way I was gonna forget about a cold start before driving away. This never gets old. What's going on, Pat? Howdy, how, how are you doing, buddy? Doing great. If you guys don't know Pat Rowell, uh, he's got his own YouTube channel, and we're gonna be collabing. We're actually speaking earlier uh, about this, that he's gonna come see me in Jersey, maybe even this weekend or the yeah. following weekend or something. Gonna work on all kinds of stuff, maybe race the Mazda Speed 3 and against this. Yeah, we'll see what happens, you never yeah. know. Lots of good videos, fun stuff. Me and Pat are gonna be doing some fun stuff, and the spring will be even better. And there's Curtis right there. What's up, buddy? How's it going, man? How you doing, bro? It's good to see you. Kurt the man. I'm gonna go over and uh, bug Shane. And I'm not, I'm not even thinking that the punishment wrap is even a punishment. I've been in the 717 for 24 hours now, maybe a little longer than that, maybe like 30 something hours. But I parked at Chick-fil-A and McDonald's uh, yesterday and today and picked up like almost 20 subscribers with this wrap. It sticks out like a sore thumb. So definitely not a punishment. What's up, Shane? Oh, not too much, man. How What's going on, buddy? I'm good. It's going. Shane the man. Uh, it's a clear bra for the Raptor, and I think it looks really good. Maybe I might do a clear bra on my Durango. What do you guys think? Isn't Shane the fucking man? Look at this. Looks, looks so awesome. So we're getting ready to do a custom wrap on the Durango. Not gonna tell you guys what it is or give you any hints or anything like that. When it's done, I will reveal it to you. I think it's gonna look fucking badass, but just wait and see. I think you guys are gonna like it. We're going to town on that stuff right now, and uh, yeah, I had my mind set on something and changed it and went a different direction today. The punishment wrap is still on there. I think I'm gonna rock the punishment wrap beyond Christmas. I just might because Shane was right when he said, it's a punishment, but it'll be good for you. And I think it has been good because I picked up subscribers just for the rat being on the car. It sticks out like a sore thumb and it screams for attention. So I may keep it on there for a while. I don't know, what do you guys think? Keep the punishment wrap on the car longer than Christmas Eve or take it off when the punishment is up? What do you guys think? I mean, I don't know. Might be a good idea to keep it on there. Get it, Pat, get it. This is, this is the center, right? Center vent? Yep, that's the center vent. Cool. He's got to pull the vents out of the uh, Durango SRT hood. Got to get the nozzles off. Had to pull off the stupid hood liner. And those clips were a bitch, weren't they, Pat? They were. It was a weird design. But what do you, what do you think, Kurt? Were those... Were those uh, they were the most fun that I've ever had in my entire life. Sarcasm. You guys see that right <laughs> It's like the worst clips. There's like one, two, three, four. There's like six of them i think six or seven of those stupid clips they're definitely not your best friend right pat oh no not even a little bit but the vents were easy that's a positive oh, side that? yeah pull the just like that so shane is actually doing the bulletproof package is what they call it on the raptor uh where he has went and put a clear bra on the entire uh truck and then Troy is gonna come in here and uh, basically do the ceramic coating. So he's gonna have all kinds of protection on this Raptor. I bet you he won't have any issues with it ever. Let's take a look. 
you can see the line is on the other side right here, but you, you can see how shiny it is and clean all the way up. Um, every last piece of this truck has been clear broad. Whole truck, fenders, doors, everything. There's not a single piece of this entire truck that hasn't been clear broad. And then Troy is gonna go ahead and put the ceramic coating on it. And I think it looks awesome. What do you, what do you think, Shane? Shane's killing it. Shane is just killing it on the Raptor. I think it looks like a million bucks right now. It looks brand new. It looks like it drove off the showroom floor. And when Troy adds the uh, ceramic coating, it's just gonna be insane. I know that I want a Viper. Hey, comment below, what do you guys think? Should I sell the Hellcat, trade it in, maybe get a Viper ACR? What do you guys think? Next car for the channel? I don't know thinking a Viper might be a very fun car to do for the channel. So Pat's gotta get out of here and I uh, just wanna say goodbye to him because I won't see him after he leaves today until he comes out to Jersey. So just let me know if you're coming out this weekend or yeah, if it's a couple weekends sure. after or whatever. And uh, it was great meeting you, yeah, buddy. Yeah, man, of course. Definitely gonna collab on some videos. It's gonna be fucking awesome. Oh so. yeah, I love this thing. I like seriously like this as an SUV. I've actually never seen like the SRT edition. Yeah, they're pretty new. I'm, I like I'm it. fortunate to have gotten mine pretty early. And that's stock exhaust? Yeah, yeah. It sounds really good. Thank you. Yeah. So the wrap is finally done. What do you think, Curtis? I think it looks pretty good. Curtis did a really good job on it. It looks fantastic. I went with something a little different than I said I was going to do uh, and definitely went different than the Hellcat. Do you guys want to see it? Because this is definitely better, in my opinion, than the Hellcat. I love how it looks. So here it is. Are they ready for it? I think they're ready for it. I think you guys are ready for it. All right, this is the reveal of the wrap on the Durango. So I decided to go with satin black on the Durango versus carbon fiber. I think it looks fucking awesome. You did such a good job, Curtis. I'm pumped. Thanks, what do you man. have to say, bro? Eh, we do a lot of hoods. We're used to it. It looks so fucking awesome. I'm stoked. Curtis is the fucking man. That's all I gotta say. This just looks so good. It's so clean and it looks better than the hood on my Hellcat. Uh, leave a comment below if you think I should come back to Inshane Designs uh, and get the whole truck wrap. So if you think I should come back to Inshane Designs and wrap the whole Durango in satin black, leave your comment below because if I can get enough people to agree that that's what I should do, then I will definitely come back and get the whole truck wrapped. I think it would look fucking awesome. What do you think, Shane? Oh, absolutely. Wrap the whole truck in satin black. Yeah, all the body lines you don't see, that satin black will make them pop. I think it looks awesome. He convinced me to do satin black and he's like, you're gonna love it, yeah, I mean, just if do you it. You look down the side, look at it. You can barely see the body line if it wasn't for the shadowing in here. You put that satin black, this body line, this body line, all that right here, springs it out. What do you guys think? Satin black on the whole truck or just leave it with the hood? I think it would look good, the whole thing satin black, but the hood is on point. It looks so damn good, I love it. And even the punishment wrap, Mm -hmm. isn't even that bad. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Day number two at InShane Designs. Thank you so much, Curtis, for wrapping my hood. Course, Thanks, Shane, for having yeah, me out no, here. It was a good competition fun. video and, and good wrap. And there's gonna be a lot of content to come. Yeah, I got some videos coming up with Pat. That's gonna be fun. He's coming to Jersey. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be coming out here more often to see Shane, Curtis, and the crew and get some stuff wrapped here. Even on my Type R project, I'm gonna be coming out here then, so a lot of fun stuff coming out here at InShane Designs. But that's gonna do it, like I said, for today's video. Don't forget, check out uh, drivewaydemons.com to support the channel. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, share the channel with everyone you know. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for supporting the channel, watching all my videos. I work really hard to provide a lot of content for you guys. But until the next video, Corey with Driveway Demons and from InShane Designs and Curtis and Shane and the crew here. Thanks for watching, guys. Have fun, be safe.